Hello to all. This video is entitled Chromatic Speed and it is meant to boost your speed with the chromatic scale. You'll notice that the music printed on the page is the F chromatic one octave scale. It's in treble clef, but really this applies to any one octave scale. So you choose the octave that you're working on. Preferably it's memorized and you're just going off of music that's in your head and this is meant to increase the speed in your fingers. If you don't feel like you have a, a mastery of the chromatic scale, it's not memorized yet, this video might not be for you, go ahead and make sure that you've worked on the chromatic scale to the point where you can play it very easily from memory. It doesn't have to be fast yet. In this video, I'm going to use what would be considered a medium tempo for me as an example of how you can do this. This might, the tempo that I'm going to use might be fast for you, but you just tailor it to work for you. Estimate the speed that you can go and then split it in half. You're going to play each line at that speed and then go into another pattern that I'll get to in a second. I'm going to demonstrate all of this, so it's kind of a longer video. You can use whatever articulation you want. You can tongue it all, you can slur it all. In this video I'm going to slur everything, um, but you can feel free to switch it up. The tempo that I'm going to use today is quarter note equals 50, and I'm going to be grouping these in half notes. So in other words, it's going to go half note equals 50. Go at whatever speed works for you. Again, you're splitting it in half from where you think your top speed is. So it might feel very slow, but the name of the game is to get a lot of control. Now those rhythms towards the bottom might be a little bit new for you. If so, go ahead and listen through that section that I played many times. Use your counting rhythms to try to get through it. Um, the bottom line is going to be one, sorry, one E, two, a three E, four, a one E, two, a three. The fifth line is one, a two E, three, a four E, one, a two E, three. But listening to me play it might be more helpful for you to get this. Now that I've done it through 50, I'm going to bump it up five clicks. I recommend for anything that's under 100 beats per minute going in groups of five and then once you get over 100 go in groups of 10. So in this time I'm just going to play the top line because the top line is the rhythm that we'll be focusing on for actually playing through. So now here's the top line only at 55 beats per minute. That's good. Now I'm going to go to 60. If ever I do make a mistake, I'm going to try to do it again perfectly three times in a row. I go to 65, 60, I mean 70, 
And let's just pretend I went all the way through and now I'm at 100, which is my anticipated max tempo. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> and I'm feeling like, hey, maybe I'll push it a little bit. For me, right now, I'd go up to 110. All right, and I'm sensing it's a little bit shaky at that tempo, so I'm going to hold off. I'm going to pause and stop there for today. If it were cleaner, I would keep going. So this is a personal thing for you. I do recommend if, if this is something that you want to work on with your speed, challenge yourself with it daily and then do it for each octave that you play in. So in other words, if your full range chromatic scale goes from low B flat on your instrument to high F, that means that you'll start on the low B flat and do one octaves worth. Then you should go um, to the F in between that B flat and play again there and then the B flat around above the original one and then the F that goes up to your high F so on bassoon that would be here and then I'd start on the F that's in the middle of the octave that I just played then I'd go to the B flat that's in the middle of that octave and then I go to the F that's in between those octaves. So that's four total for most of the instruments. If you're a brass player, you're going to have three. Um, if you're a clarinet or a flute player, you're going to have five. Okay, so that's if you really want to get your full range chromatic fast, you're going to do these one octaves in different ranges. All right, I hope this video helps. Stay tuned for more.